Hi everyone, my name is Adina and I am a librarian in the children's department at the Newton Free Library. And for our Young Explorers Club this week, we are focusing on oceans. And the ocean and the beach are a couple of just my favorite things. And we're going to do a little quick overview about the oceans and what makes them just a little bit of some of these amazing places that we can experience. So we're going to get started. So for the oceans, well, let's talk about how much of our planet is covered by the ocean. About 71% of the entire planet, all of Earth is covered in water, just in general water. And 96.5% of that water is the ocean. That's a lot, okay? Now, how many oceans do we have on our planet? Well, there's the Atlantic, which is what we experience off of the coast of New England and along most of the Eastern seaboard of the United States. We have the Arctic, the Indian Ocean, the Pacific and the Southern Ocean, which is usually found in and around the area, around the bottom of the uh, near Antarctica. Now, there are different layers or different zones of the ocean. So we have area around sea level, and that goes about 200 meters down or so. And that's where most of the sunlight can reach. And that's why we see a lot of different kind of animal and plant life in the this zone area. It's called our sunlight zone, which makes sense. Um, below that, we have what's called our twilight zone, where some sunlight reaches, but not a ton. And then anything beyond a thousand meters is called our midnight zone. And no sunlight reaches down into that area. And I want you all to think about what that means for all of the living things that could be found down there. How do they get their food? How do they survive? How do they find all of the things that they need? Now, I wanna think about, if we're talking about living things and what's found in the ocean, let's talk about some of the biggest and some of the smallest things. The blue whale is the largest living thing to be in the ocean. In fact, it is the largest living thing to have lived ever on our planet. It is even larger than the largest dinosaur that we have fossil records for. It is more than 100 feet long, which is longer than three school buses put back to back to back. Now we're talking about some of the smallest living things. We're talking about zooplankton. These animals, these life beings are incredibly small, they are microscopic, and they consist of several different types of animals or species. And they do have a lot in common, but they do also look different from one another. Now, what kind of ocean life can we find here off of the coast of New England? Well, we can see a variety of different marine animals off of the coast of New England. During the summer, we can find humpback whales and northern Atlantic right whales. We can also see dolphins. We can see a variety of different kinds of shorebirds. We have sea turtles like Kemp's Ridley sea turtles, Olive Ridley sea turtles, green sea turtles, a lot of different kind of crabs, a lot of different kind of plant life as well. Uh, and we're talking also about lobsters and clams and mussels and a lot of other foods that New Englanders eat on a regular basis. Now, I want you to think about what we could do to help our oceans because all of the living things in our ocean and our oceans, they all are facing kind of challenges and there are small things that we can do on a regular basis to help. So if we go to the beach or we go to an area that is near water of any kind, we want to keep that area as clean as when you got there. So you want to make sure that you collect all of your trash. And if you see some trash that maybe you didn't even bring, collect that too and put that in a trash bin because that's going to help keep those areas clean and safe for other people and also for animals that could go there. 
if you see an animal on the beach, which is always so exciting, watch it from afar. You can take some good pictures, but please don't go and touch it. We want those animals to stay wild. And if you do see an animal that looks like it may need some help, it is number one, incredibly thoughtful of you to want to help that animal. But please, again, don't go over and touch it. If you see an animal that looks like it needs help, tell an adult that you are with. And that adult can call the people who can come out and help that animal. So I hope that you enjoyed just a brief overview of some of the things that make our oceans so special and so amazing. And that now that our temperatures are warming up, you are gonna have a chance to go and enjoy and explore all of the, at least some maybe, of the amazing things about our oceans. So thanks for watching and have a great day, everybody.